right there. Electric shifter, which means we cannot easily get it into neutral. All right, so I believe the truck is gonna be on this section of road right up the way here. As you can tell, the uh, sun is definitely not in our favor. The uh, pin that was dropped was somewhere right in here. This is going to be a very dangerous section of highway. Don't see a truck. Oh, it's up, it's up the road here. Oh, we're going to have to watch our backs on this one, but this sun is going to this sun's gonna be killer on us. Starting to set. We're gonna be right here in the sun's glare. Everybody's gonna be squinting and not be able to hardly see us. Got all my lights on. Hopefully, bring some attention to us. Hopefully this is not one of the uh, electric shifter trucks. It's where I can get this thing into neutral. Because these trucks, as long as the has a column shifter, you can generally get them into neutral. The customer has left the vehicle unattended. I'm gonna let traffic clear here real quick. I'm gonna jump out. Apologize for the annoying buzzing sound. All right, let's go. So the customer was supposed to leave the keys in the passenger floorboard. Right there. Electric shifter, which means we cannot easily get it into neutral. There is a way to get it into neutral, but it's not, uh, the only way to do that is to climb underneath it and zip tie a wrench up under on the uh, transmission lines and disconnect the e-brake uh, sensors. And uh, yeah. I'm not doing all that. Not on the side of the road with cars flying by wanting to run me over. I'm gonna snap me a picture here real quick. And get my before and after pictures. One more car coming here and then I'm clear for the time being. So, we go ahead and get my bed laid down. Should have backed up a little bit more. I, uh... see how I want to do this because I can't get it into neutral even if it does start it probably won't start long enough to dang, probably won't start long enough for it to uh, stay in neutral long enough to load it I need to put it in free spool this truck only has the free spool on one side I'm probably gonna do is winch my truck under theirs so I don't have to drag their nice pretty truck any farther than I got to. So there's no ant beds or poison ivy here. 
both of which would make for a bad day. There's a bunch of ants on the ground. I'm going to try my best to avoid getting eaten alive. Okay, hook the control arms. cable there a little bit. Looks like got a little bit of slack in there. So I realize it's not the safest place at the best time. Trying to make this winch cable last as long as I can. It really needs to be replaced. Winch cable snug. I am going to, there's cars coming, I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Set the parking brake to kinda help save the transmission with a little bit that I'm gonna have to drag it. That door slots, my luck. truck in neutral the bed is still set on the ground I do need to idle that up hop out on the passenger side so my plan here Time. Thirteen thousand miles on this thing. Here it's spinning. Did not start, but now it's in. It's barely running, and then it just died. So it does not shift. Conditions not correct for shift. So, I am going to set the parking brake. I can turn all that off. I'm gonna wait for traffic to clear here a second. Yeah. Get back over here as soon as I can. All right, can't get it into neutral. The parking brake is set to help save the transmission on this thing. I'm going to barely float the bed because my sport bar and everything my truck's in neutral i'm going to easy winch my truck back and then i'm going to uh kind of use my bed to uh I'm pulling in my my truck with the bed real quick. So that way it gives me a little bit of extra room to stick the bed under the tires without having to try to pull it with the winch with the winch or with the bed dragging on the ground or anything. Butt it up against the tires nice and easy there. Now I'm going to stick my bed underneath. Underneath the tires a little bit. This thing's all wood drive. Barely pick up and float my bed again. Hold up. This one's all wood drive. 
and let a little pressure off that. This thing is all-wheel drive. Let me see if I can get it to shift out of four-wheel drive. I'm hoping it's just in uh, automatic or full-time mode. Let me get this last car by here. Give me enough time to get by. Come on, let me in. Just felt it shift. Okay. I think it was an auto four wheel drive. So now this should go a lot easier. This should go a lot easier now that the front tires aren't going to be skidding. Now I can lift back up. And now, there we go. Front tires are rolling. Remote to my truck, winches right down under theirs. So theirs isn't moving, so I'm not dragging their transmission across the pavement. Right, I'm going to lower my bed a little bit. Go back to the hand controls to kind of finesse it. And lower it a little bit more. Because the plan is to get the bed right to the end there. It's about as far as I can get it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my parking brake again. So now my brakes are set. My truck can't go anywhere now. Now I'm going to just ever so easily drag their truck up the bed. Yes, I could put skates. My skates are on the other side of the truck. I'm trying to avoid that side of the truck because of all the traffic and the people that want to run me over. Alright. Now, I'm going to get this thing strapped down. First, that will make a pretty picture I'm going to throw a couple straps on this side of the truck real quick non traffic side of the truck oh, these are polished wheels I'm gonna lasso these because they got nice polished fuel wheels Tires shine on the tires, you can tell they care about their trucks. I'm not gonna run my straps through their wheels and dirty them up and scratch them up. I keep my straps pretty clean, but I still would rather, out of abundance of caution, try to take care of their vehicle kind of how I would like mine taken care of. Uh, pretty particular about my vehicles.
the annoying buzzer. There's a little county road right down the way here. We're gonna limp this thing over there whenever traffic clears, because we got a bunch of traffic coming right now. We got back in the truck at just the right time. Second. Finish getting the straps on so we get all four points of securement. I really hope GM comes up with some kind of a fix for this because this is absolutely ridiculous. I tow more of these trucks than anything else on the market for this problem right here. Like no other manufacturer right now has seemingly this big of a problem. Like everybody is pretty good right now, the exception of General Motors with this problem affecting the GMC Sierra, the Chevy Silverado for the full-size trucks with the gas motors in the way, the 5.3s and 6.2s and the smaller displacement uh, gas engines, the GM uh, mid-size SUVs, which I think is like the Chevy Traverse, the GMC Acadia, or I know for sure the Cadillac XT5. I towed a Buick, I think it was an Envision, which is like all the same platform. I towed a bunch of those, I towed a bunch of these, all for this same problem. It's this fuel pump module issue. And those are tight. Double check this side. Bit. All right, got that one loaded up. We're gonna haul it over to the dealership. All right, so we got to the dealership here. Going to pop my straps loose, get this thing unloaded. Found a nice uh, spot that was straight in and out. have to do nothing too crazy to get this thing off of here. Fortunately, these trucks, because you can't get them in a neutral, I'm going to have to slide it off and then either walk out from underneath it or drive out from underneath it. A lot of times I don't like driving out from underneath them when I'm alone because I can't see where they are in relation to the end of the bed. So we'll see how this one looks when it comes off. I might I might uh, walk out from under this one or straps taken off of it we're gonna lay the bed down here real quick and try to uh, get her to slide on off nice and easy for us I'm gonna get some soapy water spray under the tires since it's rear wheel drive and I was able to get it into uh, two wheel drive so now we're not fighting the front end otherwise we'd probably be trying to snatch block this thing off spray some soapy water down Oh. 
hopefully this thing wants to slide off nice and easy for us. It's starting to get dark. It's evening time. It's about time to go eat dinner. Set this right here just in case I need a little bit more spray down. Sometimes you give them a little shake. slide right on down if they were in neutral. There it goes. That's yeah, sliding off now. See how the tires rolling. Keep feeding out the winch a little bit. Let it slide on off. Save my hydraulics. Catch the ground eventually here. Thank it came off the bed far enough yep perfect amount of room so now should be able to pull the bed right out from underneath it I like the old the old uh, tablecloth trick I'm gonna walk my bed out a little bit. Get my bed out to full extension. Make sure I get bed all the way out from underneath it so I can tilt up. I have my airbags inflated right now. Alright. I'm gonna walk forward one more time now. Nice and easy. Alright. I'm gonna float the bed a little bit more than I probably need. Because once I get the front end of the truck to the back end here. It's going to really want to drag the ground. And out of an abundance of caution, I'm going to use one of my wood blocks as wheel chalk. Even though parking brake set, it's stuck in neutral. I am going to pull forward. It's a little bit easier on the uh, hydraulics and everything. Hydraulics and airbags. So I'm getting to the end of the bed, so we're gonna call that good. We can pull the bed out the rest of the way. I could have went a little bit further forward. But uh no points in tempting fate. Saved us from walking the truck that far. Even though I've got my airbags inflated, keep the rear tire in contact with the ground so it's not hanging off the airbag. Here now. 
Wait there. Go in. Throw the keys in the drop box for the customer. That way the service department has it. In the morning when they show up. Suck my winch in here a little bit. So they don't hang on the wheel lift or anything. Finish up what I got to do here. Get my stuff picked up. Go fill out the little envelope. Drop the keys in the drop box, and we're gonna get out of here.